as the Brown Bears are playing host for the Northeast Water Polo Conference Tournament. Seven teams looking to be the last one standing. Look for a counterattack opportunity. And here it is, it's Hoffmeister bringing it up. Looking to the middle, finds Stahart over the top, and he shoots and scores. Ilias Stahart, the Brown leading goal scorer, gets his 63rd of the year on the assist from Hoffmeister. Yeah, and Brown really doing an excellent job here, capitalizing on an offensive turnover, uh, getting out in transition. Iona Gales were still playing offense. Brown really capitalizing quickly on the mistakes of the Gales here. Not letting them set up on their five-man defense and getting the quick goal. Ball at Loyola in Southern California as he swings it to Hadar. Hadar finds Simcoe inside, turn shot, and a goal. Matt Simcoe had four goals in the last matchup, gets his first in this one from a great feed from Hadar. Hadar recognizing that the drop at four was a little too far extended there. Yeah, look here. Alexic able to just get that right arm free to get off a full windup on a shot. Yeah, trying to isolate for DeSalle there, but the crash came back a little too quick. Three seconds left. Newman gets it up to Hoffmeister. One last buzzer beater shot. And it goes. Thomas Hoffmeister at the buzzer. Extends the Brown lead to four. Finds him. Atwell fakes. Gets it inside. Here's Stothart. Stothart rollout. Can he finish? He can. Ilias Stothart, the inside turn and the finish in the upper left-hand corner completes the first half hat trick. Yeah, and that was a great possession by Brown. One thing that I want to particularly note is Brown released the ball to the right side of the pool to give the opportunity. Gales down by seven, two minutes left. You know, water polo is a long game. You see these type of comebacks all the time. Deep drop, it's Atwell with eight on the shot clock. Unable to get that past the Barry. Gets it over to him now. Finds Stothart. Stothart turns, fires, and scores. Ilias Stothart, his fourth goal of the afternoon. Get it to him, and good things happen, Hudson. When all else fails, get the ball to Stothart. Brown, not much going on for a majority of that possession, but in the very end, found the dry pass to their center, and he's able to quickly fire one off for an inside turn goal. There's Hadar, he finds Simcoe. Simcoe rises and scores. Matt Simcoe gets his second goal of the afternoon, extending the lead to double digits with 4.33 left in this third quarter. Brown able to find a little hole in that two-man drop right there and get it right onto the center's hand. It is so crucial when you are playing with the center to get it to somewhere where they can grab the ball. There, They move the ball for center. That way the defender at X2 has to make a decision. Do I go out to Nick Berry or do I stay back and guard Matt Simcoe? And they're slowing the ball down. They're still working for Simcoe as he passes it to Patterson. Looking to get it inside to Atwell on the back door. Cole Atwell sneaking through the back door, able to score that one on the feed from Patterson. Great awareness there from Patterson, who being able to find Cole. And you know it's so difficult when your head is half underwater, you have a player on your back to be able to see the entire pool. So great pass and great finish. Offense, working until the Gales come out of their drop and then entering the ball to Stothart. You know, obviously you don't have to play that extra game, but at the same time, as you see a back in there from number 24, that's Daniel Kristich, the freshman from San Diego. What a shot there. Quality back end there. And yeah, Sally, I think there are pros and cons to it. Obviously, you want to have a rhythm going into the weekend and getting a groove. The Bears will face off tomorrow in the semifinals against the number one seeded Princeton Tigers.